Hey, in this episode of Truth Snack, we're finally starting our new series on epistemology, which is just the theory of knowledge. So before you go, I'm gonna make sure you got a recipe for knowledge. We're gonna talk about road trip games and play with a little Lego. All of that is coming up. Hey, I'm Matt, this is Truth Snack, a channel where we sometimes like to pretend that knowledge has a literal recipe. So I've got my mixing bowl right here, and we're gonna talk about the three main ingredients of what makes something knowledge. The first is belief. Yeah, that's right. For something to be knowledge, there has to be someone to actually know the knowledge. And so belief is a key ingredient in knowledge. The second ingredient is this, truth. Well, that's kind of intuitive, right? If something is going to be knowledge, then it actually has to be true. It doesn't matter how sincerely or passionately you just believe something. It has to be believed, but it also has to be true. Well, there's one more, a third ingredient, and it's actually justification. There has to be a good reason for you to actually believe what you believe is true. Here's an example. You can believe that tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day. But if you have no good reason to believe that, then you're just guessing. And if everyone guesses, then someone's bound to be right. So then they would have a true belief. But if you don't have good reason to believe that, then it isn't actually knowledge. So in summary, knowledge is a justified, true belief. You know, we don't often think about the recipe for knowledge, but I think we all understand it deep down inside. You see, I'm a little brother, so I understand my duty to be annoying to my older sisters. And when we were kids and on a road trip to entertain myself, I would play something called the why game. So when one of my sisters would say anything, I would just go, why? And if they humored me, then I'd say, why again? And no matter what they would say, I'd just keep asking, why, why, why? See, I didn't even realize what I was doing, but I was actually asking them to justify their beliefs as true. And so within 10 or 12 times of me asking why, they were normally trying to explain some of the deep questions in life. Some of those big questions that we talked about in the Worldview series. You know, where do we come from? What's the meaning of life? Or what happens when we die? You know, we each have tons of beliefs and they don't just float midair. They're actually a lot more like this Lego tower that I built where we have beliefs that sit on top of other beliefs that we have, which sit on top of other beliefs that we have. Now, when I was asking my sister to answer why and why and why, I was asking her to go deeper and deeper down in her beliefs. Now, each level you go down, the questions become even harder to answer, but they actually show us what our foundational beliefs are, what it is we actually believe about reality. This week, I don't have a question for you, but I do have a fun game. Why not find a friend and play the why game and discover what some of your deep beliefs about reality are and whether or not you think those are justified, true beliefs. Let me know how it goes in the comments section below. I'd love to hear. And thank you so much for watching. Tune in next Tuesday. We'll continue to discuss what matters. See you then.